Hello, this is Pastor Scott Cruz, and this is The Deeper Rock. The Deeper Rock is a series of articles and videos from Rock Church in Fargo, North Dakota. We are a church that endeavors to do all that we can to make it as easy as possible for anybody to come to church. When you first walk into the door of our church, uh, the first thing you're going to notice is the door is going to be opened by somebody, and they're going to be smiling, and on a good day, they'll still be wearing their biker leathers. And as you look over to your right, there will be a table. It's got a big sign that says free stuff. And on the free stuff table, you know what's there? Free stuff. And you go by, and there's CDs and books and Bibles and whatever else happens to be there that day. And then you won't be able to notice, help but notice Hmm, Starbucks coffee. Yes, yes. No Folgers, no off-brand stuff. No Starbucks coffee. And I have a confession to make. Um, the reality is, is that I make it really, really strong because I'm insecure about my preaching and I want you to, you know, I want you to stay awake while I'm preaching. And so that's, you know, I, I shamelessly do that. <clears throat> and yes, we have free donuts. Lots of churches have donuts. But does, do lots of churches have free popcorn as well? Well, that's because we meet at West Acre Cinema. And we have such a great relationship with the people there at the West Acre Cinema that they give us popcorn every Sunday. God bless you. Thank you so much, uh, West Acre Cinema. So the movie theater, it, it's just a fantastic thing. But the Deeper Rock, what is the Deeper Rock all about this series of videos? Well, uh, also, I'm not going to record these twice. It's going to be just one time through. Off button on my side right here. Because if I try to make these too perfect, they'll never get done. And so I just wanted to get, they're going to get done. So if you're looking for something really polished and nice, uh, then you're just going to have to deal with that. But see, on Sundays, I just don't have time to go as deep as I want. Our services are one hour long. And, uh, and I, I try not to go long. Last week I was a little bit long. I didn't mean, I was like six, seven minutes long, something like that. Um, and, uh, you know, you always got somebody who says, oh, you can pre preach longer, Pastor. I like it. You know, I don't mind you going long. But I don't, I, I've been bored in so many church services. And I just don't ever want that to be you. Anyways, okay. Uh, Sunday, I don't get to go as deep as I want, okay? I, I, because uh, I basically, it, it's basically just like me fishing going out and fishing and bringing the fish in and feeding them to you. Okay, that's, that's what it's like. Um, but the scripture is like the ocean. The Bible is like the ocean. So you can look at it and you can have great respect for it. And you can even reap some of its benefits. And someone can go out there and fish for you and bring the fish in and, and give it to you and you can, you can eat those and they're good. And you can also walk up and you can wade in and you can wade up in up to your ankles. And it'll refresh you and you'll enjoy it. Then you can walk in a little further and you'll be up to your knees. And so this that much more refreshing. And, and then as you get more comfortable and, and, and you realize that, boy, this is, the Bible is pretty cool. And you get deeper and deeper, you get up to your chest. And then you look around and you see this dude over there that you actually get a little bit envious of. Because he's got a snorkel and fins and he's diving down deep. So you think to yourself, man, I want to do that too. And, so you, and then you put on the scuba gear and you start diving down deep. You know what's cool about the scripture? No matter how long you live, you can never explore the whole thing. You will never unlock all of the mysteries that is in the scripture, even if you spend your whole life doing it. So the scripture is so cool. It's accessible to everybody, but you will never master it. And the deeper you go down into it, the more blessing you'll get out of it. And if you come on Sunday mornings and you're just waiting for me to spoon feed you something, Okay, um, you're going to get very, very frustrated by that. Um, I also liken it on, onto a car. On Sundays, I basically, um, I tell you where to drive your car. <laughs> you know, I just get right to the punchline, right to the application. This is what it means to you. This is why you got to do it, okay? Um, but in the deeper rock, I get to tell you a little bit how the car works and why the car works, all right? I'm also... Uh, and I think if I if I click uh, forward a little here, we'll we'll have a sense of this. Uh, yeah, it's like me fishing, not you you fishing. Um, but what what is this um, deeper rock all about? I want to model something for you. See, I am a fundamental Christian who believes that the Bible is infallible. It is the almighty, absolute word of God. I believe it is inspired in its original language, original context and its original intent. The Bible is unchanging in its processes all through the centuries. It never changes. The Bible is the same today, yesterday, forever. 
In modern times, we have to look at it in its entirety and then dig down deep to understand what God was saying then because he's saying the same thing now because people really haven't changed. Culture has, technology has changed. He's the same God and does not change his opinions. Okay? I love the scriptures. I have studied them my whole life. That said, I am not a theologian. Okay? Uh, I've, I, I believe what I believe and I feel strongly about it. I always think I'm right, but I don't think I'm always right. In other words, when I get to heaven and I see God, I don't think he's going to say, you know what, Scott? Of all the theologians for all of the centuries, you're the one that got it right. You're the one that had everything perfect. I don't think it's going to happen. Okay? The deeper rock, though, I'm, I want to model for you what it looks like to dig down deeper into the Bible. I'm going to show you some of my Bible tools that I use to dig down in the Bible. See, I, I believe there's also an arms race uh, for, for the Scripture. In other words, uh, technology, I can whip out my phone and there can be incredible sin on my phone. Or I can whip out my phone and I can see what a theologian said about a certain verse 2,000 years ago. I can read the Bible and I can cross-reference the original language. I can go in the lemma and I can see and I can read scholars who study ancient language and, and see all kinds of different things. And so we're sin abound, grace abound. And as if we live in a culture where we don't dig down in the Bible, boy, we are going to lose the arms race. There is an arms race. The scripture is the most important part of getting that in your heart and mind to, to defend yourself against the wiles of the enemy. And so, now I'll go back. I'm, this is going to be sloppy as all heck. Just here. The article will be a little more concise. The article that accompanies this video will be a little more concise. Because of who I am, I am a pastor who loves people and I'm just in the trenches. And I want as many people in heaven as possible. All right? Now, in these little videos, I have no doubt <laughs> that we will take a shortcut to the cross, <laughs> like Charles Spurgeon said, uh, because that's who I am. I'm a pastor, I'm a minister, I have my fingers in people's lives, and, and that's why I live. I love it so much. Um, but because of that, um, ultimately, anything that I do with my time or energy, I want it to yield souls, okay? So because of who I am, uh, we're going to approach some of these scriptures uh, with, in our heads, the idea of heaven. I have a little verse. I'm not going to do it in these videos, but when I preach, I have a little uh, prayer that I say. I'm sure I refer to it a lot in these videos. Uh, and that prayer is, Jesus, help me to be what you want me to be. Do what you want me to do, because people without you go to hell. Why do you say that? Every, why do you make people pray that every time you pray, Scott? Well, it's because I want to remind myself, my reason, reason for preaching, uh, my reason for being in the ministry, my reason for all of this is simply, I want as many people in heaven as possible. I want you and your family and your kids and your loved ones to all get to look my Jesus face to face. And he's going to say, well done, good and faithful servant. Come and enter into your rest. He is so good. He is so beautiful. So together, we're going to walk through the who, what, where, when, why, what in the inductive Bible study method. We're going to take the scripture as absolutely infallibly true and then dig into it. And that's what we're going to do. And so in the future, I, I'm, maybe uh, I, I'll someday do a, a series on the inductive Bible study. And basically that's keeping your opinion out of it and just trying to figure out what it says and getting past your own biases and, and prejudices. So that is that. Hey, thank you so much for checking this out. I hope that these, this, this new series of videos can be a blessing to you. Um, I really feel like it's, it's one of the higher priorities that I have uh, because I have to get... Uh, God's word in the hearts and minds of our people because I know they're that's how they're going to grow. That's how they're going to be. They're going to do so much better. So if you go to my church, thank you so much. I love you so much, uh, and I'm so grateful for you. And I, my prayer is is that you'd get just excited about the scripture. And I and I want that's why I'm doing the videos and not just a bunch of articles or whatever. Is because I hope that you can catch some of my passion and love for God's word. Hey, may the Lord richly bless you, and I hope to see you in church on Sunday. Jesus was a rock star.